Good morning, agents, and welcome to another daily episode of Target Alert today for October 18th. The series that shows you the Target Alert map, farming tips and tricks, vendor reset highlights, and much more. I'm Agent Shadow, and if you enjoy my content, please consider hitting those subscribe and like buttons below. In the pinned comment, there are links to join my Discord and clan and links to support my channel. But we'll cover more of that at the end of the video. Let's get started with the Dark Zones first and the highlights from the vendors this week, then DC, and finally New York City Target Loot highlights last. So real quick, something that I wanted to introduce to this daily series is to a reminder to do your weekly SHD requisition, and then of course your weekly legendary mission. That's two exotic caches that you can get per character. You can have a total of four characters. So that's a total of eight exotic caches that you can get per week. I highly recommend it. I at least do it for two characters a week. All right, agents, we're over here in DZ West. Now, in the DZ West vendor, you can get the Emperor's Guard knee pads. They roll with one skill tier, 1% armor regen, and hazard protection. As far as Wyvern wear target of loot goes, you can get the Claws Out holster, which gives you 500% melee damage, and then I believe it's 10% pistol damage. So that's definitely worth picking up today. Over in the DZ South vendor, we got MMRs as targeted loot. Nothing that's good at the vendor, but you can farm for what's called the Pin Prick. It's a DZ exclusive MMR with perfect first blood. And then finally in DZ East, we do have at the vendor the White Death with Vindictive. And then you have three rifles that are Dark Zone exclusives that you can farm for today. That would be the Virginian with perfect boomerang, the Harmony with perfect in sync and the Everlasting Gaze with Perfect Perpetuation. All three of those rifles are extremely worth farming for. The Virginian's an 1886 with like five or six rounds, but it hits like a truck. The Everlasting Gaze with Perfect Perpetuation is amazing on usually status effect builds to amplify your damage. And then of course, the Harmony with Perfect In Sync. You wanna run that on pretty much any skill build. It gives you an additional 15 all the way to 30% extra skill damage and weapon damage as well. It's definitely worth farming for, so I would get it today if you can. All right, let's go check out the north side target Alu highlights. All right, agents, we're over here on the target Alu highlights for the north side. First off, the invaded missions for this week is Camp White Oak and then Jefferson Trade Center, American History Museum, and the strongholds are District Union Arena and Tidal Basin. Now we do have knee pads over here at Camp White Oak, so you can get the Ninja Bike Messenger knee pads, which give you 25% bonus armor when you cover to cover or vault, and it reloads your primary weapon that you're holding, which includes the backfire, which will get rid of the bleed that give, you know you get from the reload. Sawyer's knee pads gives you all the way up to 30% weapon damage just for sitting still. And then the Fox's Prayer knee pads give you 8% damage to targets out of cover. That's multiplicative damage, the best damage in this game. You got Badger Tough at Coney Island Ballpark and the Amusement Park is double targeted loot. You can get the 0F's chest piece with Perfect Unbreakable. And I have multiple build videos with that chest piece. One for sure that is from TU10, but from TU11, I will put that build in the top right card right now. We got Grupo Sombro at Manning National Zoo, so that's one piece DPS builds, two piece explosive skill damage builds. That's how you want to run Grupo Sombro. And then finally, Murakami at the summit. Nothing really worth farming for. You know, the summit's going to change, like I always tell you guys. You're going to be able to pick your own targeted loot, and it's going to be private to each individual person instead of targeted loot for everyone in the group. It's going to be a huge major change, and I believe it could be coming in a few days or next week. I'm, I'm assuming it's gonna be coming Tuesday. But anyway, let's go check out the West Side Target Alu highlights. All right, agents, we're over here on the West Side Target Alu highlights. So first off, we got Providence Defense, a federal emergency bunker. Now you can get the Sacrifice with Perfect Glass Cannon, which I never run personally, but I know some people do. You can get that or just whatever better role you need for Providence Defense. You got Bellstone Armory at Bank HQ. Now you can get the Everyday Carrier with Perfectly Efficient, and I believe you can be rewarded through Target Loot Rewards. The Liquid Engineer with Perfect Bloodsucker. Otherwise, you would have to farm it in the Dark Zone. And then, yeah, there's not a whole lot I would really recommend on the West Side, actually. You got gloves over here at West Potomac Park. You can farm for the BTSU gloves, and you can farm for the Contractor's gloves. 
those give you 8% damage to armor. There's actually some pretty cool armor shredding builds that you can put together with Walker Harrison Co. and the contractor's gloves and putting damage uh, armor on your shotguns or, you know, assault rifle to add that up pretty high. Yeah, that's pretty much it. There's doubles for Grupo Sumbro. Gila Guard's great for those shield builds. I never really recommend farming like backpacks or chest pieces. I, well, actually the chest pieces. But usually you want to farm the brand, not the type. China Light's great for those explosive skill damage builds. The Seska's great for having an extra 10% crit hit chance, but that's about it. And then you got MMRs at Roosevelt Island. You can get the White Death, which I believe drops in the light zone. And then you can get the Ekim's Long Stick with a... I think it has perfect ranger on it those are the best mmrs in the game of course you can get the exotic mantis and the nemesis you still have to get from the quest if you haven't gotten it yet but anyone who's gotten it before it will drop for them and then you could share it within your group and then you can skip the quest completely but anyway let's go check out the east side target of loot and see if we got a lot more to farm for today than the west side all right agents we're over here on the east side target of loot and i do see quite a bit more to farm for today so we got some machine guns in downtown east that's the lady death the chatterbox a good vector variant or mpx is what you're going to be looking for if you're just looking for a high-end smg and then of course you can get the safety distance with perfect outsider and then the swap chain those are named ones that drop in the light zone and then the Dark Winter and the Apartment, they're DZ exclusives, but I believe the Dark Zone can be rewarded to you. Not the Dark Zone, the Dark Winter. I'm not entirely sure about that. Definitely comment in the comment section below if you've had the Dark Winter drop in the Light Zone from, you know, being rewarded to you. And not from the Season 1, 2, or 3 rewards or caches. We got Alp Summit at Grand Washington Hotel. You can get the percussive maintenance with perfect tech support, which I don't really recommend. It's better on a Wyvern Wear or Hana U piece. What I would recommend is a chest piece of Alp Summit with Empathetic Resolve for a healer build. We got Sokolov Concern at Judiciary Square. So, of course, if you're running an SMG, always run three pieces of uh, Sokolov Concern, unless it's one of my Hunter Fury builds or, you know, True Patriot builds. And then you want to just run one piece for that 10% SMG damage. But yeah, that's pretty much the only reason you would run one. We got mask over at Jefferson Trade Center. So today is actually the perfect day to get the Coyote's mask. You already have a chance for it to drop from Coyote, the boss, at the end of Jefferson Trade Center. But now it's mask targeted loot. So if anyone out there is looking for a Coyote's mask, definitely farm Jefferson Trade Center today. And it's invaded. You can also get the Vile Mask and the Punch Drunk Mask, but I would get the Punch Drunk Mask from Capitol Building. That's Douglas and Harding. So you can get the Punch Drunk Mask with an extra 20% headshot damage baked into it. That's a DNH mask, so definitely farm that. And then otherwise, if you're looking for the Vile Mask or definitely the Coyotes Mask, farm Jefferson Trade today. We got Petrov at American History Museum. So if you're farming for the Contractor's Gloves, farm Petrov. I wouldn't really farm gloves. You could farm either or, but I would just personally recommend farming Petrov. And then chest pieces at Aaron Space. There's two things you can get today. Well, Ridgeway is pride if you already have it, but mainly it's the Tardigrade chest piece. It's a True Suns already um, exotic. So it just has a higher drop rate chance, the Tardigrade armor, if you farm it at a True Suns mission or True Suns area. And today it's at a True Suns mission, Aaron Space Museum. And then we got shotguns at Jefferson Plaza. You can get the best three shotguns in this game, which is the Mop, which has 10% armor on kill rolled on the third attribute, the custom M870, and then the Marine Super 90. And then of course you can get the Sweet Dreams exotic shotgun. And then lastly, we got light machine guns at Southwest. So you can get the exotic Bullet King or Pestilence. And then the named LMGs, there's so many of them. There's the Quiet Roar, the Good Times with Perfect Fast Hands, the New Reliable, the Carnage, the Slepner, there's all sorts of named LMGs. But yeah, let's go check out what we got in New York City Target Loot Highlights, and I will let you agents go. Alright agents, we're over here on the New York City Target Loot Highlights. Now, we got quite a bit over here in the New York City area. We normally don't have a whole lot, but at Pathway Park is the Cleaner's Mission. Now, you can get the Imperial Dynasty here. This is what I would farm for. It has a higher drop rate chance from the cleaners missions like Stranded Tanker, which would normally drop from Vivian Connolly. But of course, Pathway Park is also a cleaners mission, so it has a really high drop rate chance. So I would look for that or the Forge Holster, which gives you an extra 50% shield health to your shield. 
That's like a whole extra skill tier of shield health to your shield. You got gear sets of financial district, anything but the, you know, system corruption, which is a dark zone exclusive. And then of course the foundry bulwark and future initiative chest and backpack pieces. Those are still exclusive to the iron horse raid over here in civic center. We got Hana Yu. So you get the force multiplier backpack with perfect combined arms. That gives you an extra 30% skill damage every three seconds. As long as you're landing your shot overlord at the tombs. Like I said earlier, this is the way to farm for the Fox's prayer knee pads that 8% damage targets out of cover mixed with like 10% on your weapon is an amazing multiplicative damage stack that you definitely want to be running on most DPS builds. Walker Harrison Co. is Stranded Tanker if you want to get that Chain Killer Perfect Headhunter chest piece. And then finally what I see is Assault Rifles at Liberty Island. You could farm for the Chameleon Exotic or the Burnout named Famas, Maniac named Military AKM, or just a really good, you know, one of the best ARs in the game, which would be the Famas, the Military AKM, the Carbine 7, Police M4, and the G36. Alright agents, well that was the target of loot for today. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to subscribe and like if you enjoyed my content. If you would like to become a member for support and exclusive perks, you can click the join button below. Or you can grab some Shadow Gaming merchandise. I just put a whole new listing out about a week and a half ago, maybe a week ago. I just lowered all the prices on everything, every single item. I got a promo code that I'll share with you guys that gives you free shipping on all orders. And that's Shadow99, all lowercase. You can also support me on alt tech like Patreon and Subscribestar. But really, if you're still watching this video right now to the end, thank you. That is truly the best way to support me. And of course, whitelist me on your ad blocker. Take care, agents, and be sure to stay tuned for more daily Division 2 content. This is Agent Shadow signing off. I will see you in the next video. Take care, agents.